I also want you to provide me with the oral traditions that confirm what is in your Quran, that Jesus is the Messiah, okay. that Jesus is Allah's words. I want you to, sh okay. uh, to explain that right. Jesus was born of immaculate conception. Show me the oral traditions for that because that's the standard you forced on me. Go ahead. <laughs>
something, then you will believe that it's Jesus. Yet in your Quran, it says that Jesus is the Messiah, and the Jews also reject that. So I would like to see an oral tradition which supports that. And if you can find that, does it matter? Are, are they your authority? No, the Jewish are not my authority. Jesus is my authority. And I read Isaiah 49 verse 6 in the context of Jesus and his ministry. Isaiah 49 verse 6 is very clear about the development of how salvation will be. It will be first to Israel to gather the remnant of the lost sheep of Israel. And then Jesus, of course, will become the light for the Gentiles and they will be his salvation. It is not a contradictory to Matthew. It's interesting that you quote Matthew 10 and Matthew 15, but you continue to ignore the other chapters, including Matthew 28. It is a clear development. Yes, Jesus started with the lost sheep of Israel, as it says in Isaiah 49 verse six, and then it concludes with the apostles preaching the gospel to the nations. Again, coming back to Isaiah 49 verse six, part B, where it indicates that Jesus, the Messiah, will be the light for Gentiles. It doesn't say nations. It's not insinuating the 12 tribes of Judah. It says Gentiles. Okay? That is what is the situation. So can you first provide me with an oral tradition that supports the fact that Jesus is the Messiah? Okay. And if you can or can't, is that your authority? Okay. Notice, notice, I asked her, right, emphatically, right, I asked her, show me, she quoted Isaiah 49, verse 6. Jews are not my authority. Oh, let me finish. Notice, I was very notice. Patient. I listened to you without interruption. I was very patient and you went on and so on. Thank you. Exactly. Please extend the same purpose. Uh, yeah, okay. Right. So, I asked you very specifically. Yeah. Show me an oral tradition, meaning it's a consensus from amongst the Jewish scholars. Because remember, you are using their book. You are using their scriptures. You're using their authority. I'm using the so book of God. Respectfully, what you should do I'm, I'm using is the provide book of God. an authority from the Jewish tradition because as you should know, that the Jews used oral tradition from the Torah They used the Mishnah. They used an explanation, an exegesis outside of the Torah to explain certain verses. Not all of them, the, not all of them. Finish. Not all Jewish communities do. That's false. Let me finish. That is false. Right. So what I'm asking you is that show me an oral tradition there from, we go. from the Jewish scholars. She said, oh, she couldn't provide that. She could not provide that. Okay, I don't care no, to provide no it. No, let me finish. Not my authority. You couldn't provide that. That's no issue. I'm Number not two, interested. That's Isaiah not my authority. Verse six, Isaiah 49 verse 6, as you claimed, right, is speaking about the Messiah. That's right. Where does it, where, show me one verse, show me one verse that Isaiah 49 verse 6 is speaking about the Messiah. Nowhere does it say that. So what I, what I accuse you of is that you are imposing an understanding that doesn't exist. You are imposing an understanding that it is the Messiah, even though the oral tradition doesn't say it, even though the verse itself You're rambling, say brother, it, I'm sorry. Even though the verse itself You're rambling. Now, that's speaking about the Quran. Nice You're rambling. Quran. Okay, good. You're rambling. Allah says in the Quran that Jesus was blessed. Wajalni mubarakan aina ma kunt. Wajalni mubarakan aina ma kunt. I am blessed wherever I am. Right? There's another verse in the Holy Quran. Allah says me. in the Quran. Wa if kala isa bunu Maryam ya bani Israel. O children of Israel. Inni Rasulullahi ilaykum. I am the messenger of God sent to you i am the messenger of god in another verse allah says he says what if Allah, no not that, verse, not that verse right in another verse allah says in two verses allah said that he was that jesus he was sent to, to the children of i'm so sorry no, you you're no, rambling no, on no, I'm rambling. You, I'm you're trying to I'm responding. you're trying I'm to responding. get your reputation no. back by reciting a few oh, Quranic verses you and it's got nothing to do she with anything. Me. Can you imagine the hypocrisy? You ain't got you nothing. Where's my evidence? The I'm quoting the evidence and you're saying, Messiah. Oh, you're sure no, oh, you're, you're, no. You're, you're, I never you're, asked you for Quranic verses. I asked you for an oral tradition from the Jews the that they yourself. accept Jesus as the Messiah. I'm responding. You're, so why are you talking you, you about that? I'm not talking about Quranic verses. Where's the oral tradition from the Jewish? Come on, where is it? Not I'm asking for the oral traditions. Where right, are they? Right. I'm not interested in what your Quran says. Right, good. Where good. do the Jews say that they believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Where right. is it? Right. 
I actually now nah, what she's done, she's pulled the question back on me. Of course, but naturally. I, but I asked you that naturally. question. Naturally. So what she's doing, she's asking a question of a question. No, I'm showing your hypocrisy. hypocrisy. I'm showing that hypocrisy. What a because me as a Christian, fantasy. my authority is not this the Jews. This is a fantasy. Do you know what a fantasy is? My, my authority is not the Jews. That's like me saying, but what's he is your enforcing, name? Saying, well, what's your name? He is enforcing well, that I appeal to Jewish what authority. He is forcing it. But yet, when I put it back on him, He's going back to the Quran. I never asked you about the Quran. Why not? Because you are Why saying not? that this scripture, there must be consens consensus amongst the Jewish community that it is referring to Jesus. So I'm asking you, in your Quran, no, it says that, that Jesus is the Messiah. No, Show that. me oral traditions me where they agree that Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. Then it's not my authority. Right, so you're forcing Jews to be me, my authority. To so if you're talking about anyone that's a Jew, then you must, you must, you must use Jewish authority. That's your standard that I'm holding you. That's not my standard. Respectfully That's not my standard. My sentence, and then we can. Furthermore, no, you were rambling a lot. Furthermore, okay, you still, so you, did, you still did not, you, uh, you still did not address. You were talking for ages. You still did not address Isaiah 49 verse 6. But it clearly I'm shows. To cut me off. No, you're talking about the Quran. It clearly shows that there are two parts to go to Israel, but also to go to the Gentiles. It's not a contradiction to Matthew, which again, you're quoting 10, chapter 10, you're quoting chapter 15, but you're not quoting others. Because if you did, and if you actually bothered to read the Gospel of Matthew, you would see that there is a development in the ministry. It is an, it's an expansion. It is, it is the manifestation yeah. of, an, of Isaiah 49 verse 6. That's just one verse, but it clearly shows that the nations, which you were trying to say, it makes sense that it's the 12 tribes. It's not talking about Israel. It's talking about the whole world, literally, okay, so Jews me, and Gentiles alike. So let me respond. I want you to respond. Respectfully. I'm telling you no, what no, I want no, you to no, respond no. to because you're rambling. You. No, I, I want I, you to. I want you to explain. I want you to explain how Isaiah 49 verse 6 is a contradiction to Matthew. I also want you to provide me. I, will try. I also want you to provide me with the oral traditions that confirm what is in your Quran, that Jesus is the Messiah, okay. that Jesus is Allah's word. I want you to, sh okay. uh, to explain that right. Jesus was born of immaculate conception. Show me the oral traditions for that because that's the standard you forced on me. Go ahead. Okay. There's two so, I've so, asked for. So now what she's I've done, asked for two. What she's done, Isaiah 49 verse six and the oral traditions from the Jewish. Tradition. Two, I'm go sorry. ahead. Okay, good. Now what she's done. And if you don't, heard, that's it. There you go, see what I'm seeing? No, I said if you don't, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just saying if you don't, because I haven't got time to Madame. hear your preaching. Madame. Go Madame. ahead, sir. Madame. Two points. Relax. Two and points. Let me respond. I'm relaxed. Two points. Okay, go, go ahead. Right. As I said to her, she has responded a question for a, with a question. And that in itself is a, fa a complete fallacy. I asked her, she was the one that quoted Isaiah 49 verse 6. I didn't quote it. I didn't. In fact, I didn't even quote the Old Testament at all. She quoted Isaiah 49 verse 6. So logically, I followed that up with a question. And I think what I asked her was a valid question. I asked her, show me in Isaiah 49 verse 6 that is speaking about the Messiah. Because in Isaiah 49 verse 6, it doesn't explain this at all. What she did explain by reading the chapter, she said that it's speaking about an individual that will be sent to the Goyim, the Gentiles, the ones who are non-Jews. So I asked her, show me from the text itself that it's referring to the Messiah. She failed to show that, number one. Number two, I asked her, okay, if you can't, if you cannot show me from the text itself that she cannot prove that this is talking about Jesus Christ, no problem. Show me in the oral tradition that is speaking about the Messiah. So I gave some examples of this. I quoted the Mishnah. I quoted the Targum. I quoted the oral tradition. Show me from the oral traditions that this is referring to the Messiah. She failed miserably to show me this. So then I then asked her, because she failed to show me the two evidences, I then said to her, Isaiah 49 verse 6 contradicts Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Because if Isaiah 49 verse 6 is speaking about this individual that's going to come to the Gentiles, then Jesus says in Matthew 15 verse 24 that he was only sent to the Jewish, the Jewish nation. Now it's speaking about the lost sheep, not just any Jew, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 
Now, she quoted Matthew 28 verse 19. I said there's two ways this could be understood in order for the Bible to be biblically compliant. The Bible should not be seen to contradict itself. It has to comply with other verses. I'm sure no Christian will disagree with what I'm saying, right? I said, Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 should comply with Matthew 15 verse 24. What do I mean by this? The children of Israel had 12 tribes. They had 12 tribes. So when Jesus was, when Jesus said to the Jews, go out into the world, this has to be speaking about the 12 tribes of Israel. Because if you believe... Listen, listen, let's close up because the brother, let's okay. save him. She wants to go. You We're going to save him. Away. We're going to save him because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for you. We're going to save him. We're going to save him because it's embarrassing. Where's the oral tradition? He still never gave the oral tradition. He never gave any oral tradition that supports what it says in his Quran. What an embarrassment. Isaiah 49 verse 6. The Jews are not my authority. The lost sheep of the house. It's an embarrassment. I actually spoke to him before. And it's a good thing there weren't any cameras because it would have been an embarrassment on top of it. you want to run? So, um, right. you wish I was so, going to run. No, but you are. I'm not running. You, you haven't answered my question about Isaiah 49 verse so 6 being a contradiction. You are. I want you to, all and he hasn't been able to give me an oral tradition which supports what's Isaiah in his Quran. He's a hypocrite. He is a hypocrite Jesus. and he shows his ignorance. From he appeals to one verse in tradition. one chapter of Matthew no when there are 28 chapters. So, Does it make sense thank you very that you're much. going to quote thank one verse much. from one chapter out of 28 books and you should that you evidence. have the whole story. You did not show Listen, me the, the Jews are not my authority. So, the Bible is. Much. Isaiah 49 verse 6, it shows that Jesus came for the Jews and the Gentiles and you yourself can have a part in it. Remove okay. the ego. Praise comes from God, not from man. So it doesn't matter about, the, about, the, about all this. What I would recommend show for you, brother, go and, go and read Isaiah the Sermon on the Mount. You should wrap up already. He doesn't say, show me in the Bible where Jesus says, I'm a man. Jesus does not say, I'm a man. That does not mean he is not a man. Just because Jesus does not use the exact words you choose, does not mean that it's not that person. Jesus is God. Yeah. God shed his blood for you. Yeah. 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 And when you scorn him, guess what? Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. You can either accept him now, or you will accept the fact that when you are shivering and shaking, begging God for You still haven't answered my question, so there's no point in conversation. Listen, you still haven't answered me. Jesus said that he is the judge, okay? If you do not think that the judge is God himself, who is it?